Welcome, my dear friends, to tonight's magical bedtime story. My name is Jacob Evans, and tonight's tale invites you to the heart of an ancient mystical forest, where a warm and ever-burning hearth awaits to guide lost souls back to the light within. In this enchanted forest, where the air is thick with the scent of earth, and the whispers of old trees. Our young protagonist, Eli, finds himself wandering without purpose, his heart heavy with the weight of forgotten dreams. But in the quiet stillness of the woods, a soft glow beckons him forward a glow that leads him to the hearth of forgotten dreams. This hearth, tended by a wise and gentle sage, burns with the warmth of memories and hopes long past. As Eli sits by its comforting flames, he begins to see visions of the dreams he thought were lost. The passions he once held dear. Through the guidance of the sage and the magic of the hearth, Eli learns that these dreams have never truly left him, that they have simply been waiting like embers to be reignited. As you settle in for the night, let the warmth of this tale wrap around you like a cozy blanket, easing away the stresses of the day. Allow the gentle crackling of the hearth and the wisdom it imparts to bring you comfort and peace. Know that in the quiet moments of reflection, you, too, can find the light within. Now, as you make yourself comfortable, let your body relax into your bed and let go of the day's concerns for you have done enough for today. Truly, it is enough. And as you drift off, I'll be right here, guarding over you with my voice. As the line between the ordinary and the magical blurs, breathe deeply Close your eyes and let's journey together into this serene and comforting tale. The forest was dense, its towering trees casting long shadows that seemed to stretch endlessly. Eli had been walking for what felt like hours, time slipping away unnoticed. He was searching for something, though he wasn't sure what. All he knew was the emptiness inside, a void where passion and purpose had once been. Eli used to dream, but those dreams had faded, worn down by time until they were barely whispers in his mind. Now he felt lost, with no fire within to guide him. The forest around him reflected his inner turmoil 
dark, confusing, and endless. As dusk began to settle, Eli noticed a faint glow ahead. It was soft, almost imperceptible. But in the growing gloom, it stood out like a beacon. Drawn by the light, he moved toward it. The glow grew brighter, revealing a small clearing with a simple stone hearth at its center. The fire that burned within was different, its flames shifting between soft blues and gentle oranges. It felt alive, as if it were more than just burning wood. Eli paused at the edge of the clearing, the warmth of the fire reaching out to him, inviting him closer. He took a step forward, then another, feeling the warmth seep into his cold, tired body. The emptiness inside him seemed to shrink, replaced by a quiet calm. He didn't know it yet, but this hearth, with its ever-burning flame, was about to change everything. Eli stood before the hearth, feeling its warmth reach out to him. The fire crackled softly, the flames dancing in a mesmerizing rhythm. Drawn by the inviting glow, he stepped closer, noticing how the ground around the hearth was smooth, almost as if it had been deliberately cleared. As he moved forward, Eli became aware of another presence. From the shadows, a figure emerged. A tall, slender figure draped in shimmering robes. The figure's movement was slow and deliberate, and as they stepped into the light, Eli saw the face of an ancient sage lined with age yet softened by a serene expression. Welcome, the sage said in a voice as gentle as the wind. You have found the hearth of forgotten dreams, a place where lost souls come to remember what they once held dear. Eli felt a strange comfort in the sage's presence. The emptiness inside him seemed to ease as the sage continued. This fire burns with the dreams that have been forgotten. Sit by the fire and let it show you what you have lost. Without hesitation, Eli sat beside the hearth. The warmth enveloped him, and as he stared into the flames, images began to form 
scenes from his childhood, forgotten dreams, and lost passions. The sage remained silent, a comforting presence as Eli began to remember what he had once cherished. As Eli gazed into the flames, the images sharpened, revealing memories he had long forgotten. He saw himself as a young boy, full of wonder, dreaming of adventure and discovery. The flames showed him moments of joy, exploring the woods, building a tiny wooden boat, and imagining grand journeys. These were the dreams that once filled his heart with excitement. The sage's voice broke the silence blending with the crackle of the fire. These are the dreams that once guided you. They are not lost, only buried, waiting to be rediscovered. Eli watched as the flame shifted, revealing the future he could still embrace pursuing the passions that once brought him joy. He saw himself reconnecting with the world in new and meaningful ways, following the path of creativity and exploration that had once been his compass. The images were vivid, almost tangible, as if the fire was offering him a glimpse of a life he could still live. A sense of peace washed over him as the emptiness inside began to fade. The dreams he thought were lost were still there, waiting for him to find them again. The warmth of the fire seemed to seep into his very soul, reigniting the passions that had lain dormant for so long. Tears welled in his eyes not from sadness, but from relief. He wasn't lost. The fire had shown him that the light he needed was already within him, ready to guide his way. Eli sat in silence the warmth of the heart soothing his soul. The images in the flames had faded, leaving only the comforting glow of the fire. He turned to the sage, who met his gaze with eyes reflecting the flickering firelight. You see now, the sage began, that your dreams are not gone. They are simply waiting, like embers to be rekindled. Eli nodded, a sense of clarity settling over him. 
But how do I bring them back? He asked softly. The sage smiled, their voice gentle. It begins with remembering what once brought you joy. Your heart knew no bounds as a child. Listen to it again and let it guide you. Reaching into the hearth, the sage retrieved a single glowing ember. Take this, they said, offering it to Eli. Whenever you feel lost, remember this moment. The warmth will guide you. Eli accepted the ember, its heat gentle in his hand, feeling a connection to something ancient and comforting. Thank you, Eli whispered, a renewed sense of purpose filling him. The sage nodded, Go now, return to the world with the light of this hearth within you. Your path is yours to walk, and your dreams are yours to claim. Eli stood, the ember warm in his hand, and with a final glance at the hearth, he turned to leave. The glow of the ember lit his way as he stepped back into the forest. The warmth of hope replacing the emptiness within. Eli stepped out of the clearing. The glowing ember in his hand lighting his way through the forest. The path that had once felt dark now seemed clear, illuminated by the quiet flame of hope within him. The forest, once confining, now felt alive with a gentle energy. The trees swayed softly, and the air was fresh and light. Everything around him seemed different, responding to the change he felt inside. As he walked, Eli's steps were lighter, his heart filled with the knowledge that he wasn't lost. The sage's words echoed in his mind, reminding him that his dreams were still within reach. The ember was a reminder of the warmth and purpose he had found at the hearth. When the forest thinned, Eli reached the edge of the trees, where the landscape opened up to a vast horizon. The sun was rising, casting a golden light over the world. He paused, feeling the warmth of the ember echoing the warmth of the sun on his face. Eli knew the road ahead might still hold challenges, 
but now he had something he hadn't before. A connection to his dreams and the confidence to follow them. The ember in his hand was a reminder that he could always reignite his passion. With a deep breath and a renewed sense of purpose, Eli stepped forward, leaving the forest behind. The horizon stretched before him, full of possibilities. The warmth of the hearth stayed with him, a guiding light that would never go out. As he walked toward the rising sun, Eli knew that wherever his path might lead, he would walk it with purpose, his dreams lighting the way. <laughs>